Ready for some sizzle? Woo, it's hot. Ready, set, go. It's a game-changing steak recipe. Juicy and tender marinated flank steak. With the perfect side. The grilled potato salad. Oh, I like that. And tips to make marinade magic. Shake it out. <laughs> Shake it out. Then. You want to wear the same thing four days in a row? What do I care? I love it, yeah. Cat and Nat are dishing the truth about being moms. Cheers. That's next. Let's dish. The kitchen has always been at the center of my world because life is more delicious when it's full of food and fun. <laughs> Everybody knows me as a culinary expert and food judge on television, but also I'm mom trying to get dinner on the table. From Hollywood to home, I bring Southern sweet and Caribbean heat, and I'm not afraid to stir the pot. Good food, good friends, good dish. Oh, apparently they really like steak. Yeah. It's a straight up you miracle. I <laughs> didn't spill that all over myself. Guys, Woo. you did Woo. it. Welcome to The Good Dish. Today we've got a sizzling show. Don't we? A sizzling show. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Filled with great food and even better surprises. And we're going to kick things off with a juicy and tender marinated flank steak with a grilled potato salad. This steak recipe is a game changer because it'll give you that restaurant quality taste right at home and it won't cost nearly as much as that steak experience. But first, let's give this steak charcuterie board its moment in the sun. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Ooh, that thing weighs like 20 pounds. I know. <laughs> but it's really good. All right. But it's gorgeous. You've got a lot going on Look here. Look at this. It's, it's so fun. Honestly, I love this. I love it, obviously, for entertaining because it's a little pick and choose your own adventure with the toasted crostinis, this gorgeous steak. We've got some, uh, I love the shishito peppers, just a little bit of juice and some cheese and potatoes, fresh pickled peppers, all of it. But this is also great for a family night. You know, put down something. Uh, this is like level up on the charcuterie like this. board, like I say. A little bit of juiciness on there. Mm. I think a level up, not just your plain old cheese right. and crackers. I'm making a steak and cheese sandwich, if you <laughs> don't mind, <laughs> with toppings. This is really good. Mm. Okay. Well, if we're fascinated by this, how about we make that grilled steak and potatoes? Let's make it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. We will save our snacks for later. Mm. We'll come back to that. I'm taking mine on the road. All right, travel with it. It travels nicely. Okay, so now we are getting that perfectly juicy steak at home. Okay, it can be a challenge sometimes, yeah. right? We're going to do it so that we're going to walk you through some of the most important steps. And the first step in the process, the marination process, okay? Marination. Do it. Yes, we have to do the marinade because um, flank steak is a thick cut of meat. I mean, not, not a thick cut of meat. It's tough. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be tenderized, and it takes on marinade really, really well. So we have everything that needs to go in here. I'm gonna go in a bowl, you can go in the bag. Olive oil, little Worcestershire sauce, red wine vinegar. I Ooh. love using that. Mm -hmm. We have some uh, rosemary, Yum. chopped up rosemary, coriander seeds, mm. just kind of- Oh, I like that. Just kind, of, just kind of burst them down a little bit if they're whole for you. And then brown sugar, we'll go in there with that. And you'll give this a little whisk. A little salt? Very simple. Why not go Why for not? it? Salt in there. And then if you're going to salt me, you might as well pepper me. I will pepper you. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Delightful. All right. So then we will simply pour this into, you can do it in a bag or a baking dish. You'll cover with plastic and we'll drop our steak in. The thing about this marinade, you can marinate for 30 minutes up to overnight. Oh. Yes. And when you do it overnight, it really gets, oh. The protein started to break down with those acids and it really gets nice. So now this step is not necessarily in the recipe on GoodDishTV.com, but if I were at home making this, you'll seal the bag and then you'll turn on some music and then you give it a shake. Ooh, Dance oh, break yeah. in the kitchen, shake it out. Mm -hmm. Shake it out. <laughs> shake, shake it out. You gotta have a little dance break in the Why kitchen. Why not? You gotta. Yes, but you wanna make sure that everything is covered thoroughly in here and then once you're about to grill it, whenever you're ready, 30 minutes or up to overnight, you'll take it out. I want you to sit it out on your countertop for about 20 minutes and all the, the flavors will just penetrate right through it. And then you go. Delicious. So now we are gonna grill it. Mm -hmm. And to grill, you gotta have enough oil on these grates to really yes. make sure it is plenty greased. If you've got a um, nice little dish rag at home, go ahead and use 
your tongs, et cetera, just to make sure every little piece has its own glossing. All right, she I'm, looks good. She looks good. Oh, look at smell this. Smell that and yes. Right. This has been sitting wow. and look at the difference. Look at that. Oh, that Ooh, is it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Okay, I'm going onto a medium high grill here. <laughs> this steak wants to cook like three to four minutes per side for a gorgeous medium rare. After three to four minutes, this will release beautifully with my tongs. I'll flip it over. You can even do a little rotation if you want to get that gorgeous restaurant cross quality marks. cross marks. Exactly right. Just give it like a 45 degree turn um, and let it finish off. And then you'll flip it and that will give you and guarantee you the most juicy and tender and delicious perfect bite of steak. Mm, I can't wait for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while it's, you can do a few things for this delicious potato salad, this incredibly easy grilled potato salad, so it's just a notch up in flavor and smokiness and char yes. to go along with the steak, is that while your steak is marinating, parboil some potatoes. You're going to drain them and, and pat them as dry as possible, cut them in half, and then while you grill the steak, you can also grill your potatoes. Yes. So I have here some potatoes that have been grilling. I just put them on halved as I showed you. And you know, you're finishing cooking, but more than that, you're giving them a bit of that smoky charred flavor that's gonna be, be so beautiful for um, accompanying your steak. Mm -hmm. So these are grilling here. And then while you're just finishing up, you can make a really simple dressing that the potatoes are gonna get folded into. So in my bowl, I have a little grainy mustard, red wine vinegar, lots of chopped chives, lots of chopped parsley, some nice big pinches of salt. I'll pepper. Take some pepper it up, go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm here for. <laughs> Thank you. you got your so pepper. good at it. And then I'm going to drizzle in a little oil and mix it all together. Oh, you know, it doesn't good. have to be this like perfectly emulsified Work. thing. It's just a gorgeous coating with lots and lots of herbiness. And then I'm just going to take all of these grilled potatoes. Actually, I'm going to see how it goes to do it this way. Get more, get more for my Ooh. bang for my buck. And I'm going to put them right in and toss it all together here. Get them all in. Thank you. Watch out. They're hot. They're hot. They're hot, but yeah. we're gonna go. Hot potato. Hot potato. Hot potato. Right there. Oh, Here like we go. This. Teamwork. <laughs> work it. Work it. Work it. <laughs> and, ooh, 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 all right. Ooh, Flying ooh, potatoes. Okay, all right. Thank you. We didn't need that one anyway. So we didn't need. <laughs> and then just carefully fold it together. Be careful because now the potatoes are soft. And you want to make sure they're nice and creamy, but you don't want to get them too like mashed up in here. The steak yeah, smells so phenomenal. That salad looks delicious. The only thing that could make this great food even better would be great friends to share it with. So we invited our girls, Kat and Nat, authors of the new book, Mom Secrets, to join us. Mom. Come on out, ladies. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah. Oh, it's tricky. It's tricky. Uh -oh. Oh, I got I this. Got it. I love how she always does this. I have more bronze strength. I love that you came for support behind her, though. That you got <laughs> it. Here, land it right there. There you go. Platforms and oh. trays of wine. Oh, you got wow. it. There we go. Wow. Very impressive. Wow. That, I mean, that also is what we were missing, by the way. Yes. What 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 are we drinking today, ladies? What we are thank drinking you. our white twin truth wine. Thank you. Wine. Gorgeous. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Thanks for coming to yes. um, have a little steak too. Yes. After Thanks all these years, it. are you still thirsty? I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I am. Last She's time always I thirsty. I drank it's so all we... the wine last time. Yes, you did. I'm gonna do it again. Yes, she did. Perfect. Well, bring that wine. Right. Right. Okay. Well. Steak. Oh, it Ooh. smells delicious. No. Just slice Didn't it over here. You all the way to New York to not eat steak and <laughs> oh. potatoes. Oh, you, right. ma'am. Thank goodness we're carrying the wine. Okay. You can't start tripping after okay. the first sip. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Together, okay. Gail, okay. you finish slicing this up. All right, you guys at home, you get this full recipe at GoodDishTV.com. Mm. We are going to start eating, get our dance break in, and coming up, Kat and Nat are sticking around, and they're getting real about motherhood. They're sharing all their deepest, mm. darkest mom secrets. Okay. And don't you like, oh. oh, look at this. <laughs> are we going to already do this? Do it. <laughs> it's getting messy already. <laughs> like something you saw on the show today? We're dishing all the details on The Good List. All the recipes, important tips, and tricks, all in one place. So stay tuned until the end of the show, when we'll share The Good List QR code. You can scan to send it all right to your phone. We're back with the dynamic duo, Kat and Nat, the coolest moms that everyone wants to be friends with. And now we are. 
<laughs> they are raw and real about parenting. They have seven kids among them. They are touring the country. They're revealing all of their new and never before told secrets mm -hmm. in their new book, Mom Secrets. Take a look. This is your mom truth. Here's the funny thing about parenting. I don't know if this is a pandemic thing or if this is just the kids get older. Always blame it on the pandemic. You just stop caring a little bit. More every freaking day. You know, at this point, pants, I don't care. No, you want to wear the same thing four days in a row. What do I care? Even inside of your shoes and boots, I used to say it was imperative that you wore socks. Now, if it doesn't matter to you, it doesn't matter to me. I didn't even check my kid's report card. Did they come out? Yeah, I didn't even care. I don't even know all my kids' teachers' names. I actually just got a request for an interview. Oh, you're I'm sure he'll survive. He's almost done. He's in grade two. I think to myself, you in grade one, what's taking so long? Why are you taking so long this to is, grow up? I'm like, why aren't you packing your bags for college? Oh, wow. I mean, here's Army. the thing. You're saying what we're all yes, That's the truth. The truth. I mean, also, cheers. Thank you for cheers. hanging out so we can all feel better about ourselves. Um, okay, so you mentioned the pandemic in that hilarious video. And, and yes, no pants. And and no pants is obviously optional. You get paint. Um, you should just see us all under the table. Um, <laughs> and they can. And they can. Yeah. <laughs> Strategic lemon. Um, what, uh, how, how, Honestly, it's a new view. <laughs> how has the pandemic changed you as parents? Oh I, my God, I really got to know my kids really well. Like too, like too well, mm. you know? Like I didn't think you were ever supposed to spend that much time with your children. But you know, it was such a hard time and it was so stressful and Kat and I just really tried to have fun with them and realized that at any time they could be home again. So just like we planned things inside the house and we just, we, we did have fun with them. I, will say, I, will, I yes. will say the bar lowered significantly. Like what used to be tolerable is now like, I like really, you know, if you have kids at home, they like to wear the same, like you'll buy a, a wardrobe and they'll wear the same thing. And I used to care and now I'm like, I, what, do I really care? You know, I feel like we've all kind of, I don't know about, uh, we have let go of a lot in terms of what's yeah. important and. And school, we're like, don't stress so much about the grades, yeah. make sure yeah. you're having fun. Uh, it's oh, just, I'll I get feel you like a tutor later. Shield us out even more, you know? Well, I that think it sounds huh? very positive, actually. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I think it does. I think it did put a lot of things in perspective. A lot of like, you know, standards you might have had that were sort of artificial or like just because I think a lot of those did fall by the wayside. Pants might not fall into that category, <laughs> but okay. Um, like, it's not the pants, pants. Like, where's the, the hole in it? Oh, sure. We need to do it. I have no oh, fair enough. Problem. Fair enough. Um, and you know, I do, I honestly do think a lot of why there is, um, a lot of why there is the impression, even if you're talking about all the ways things are falling apart or that you're like falling down on the job, that you look like you're having fun and like you're happy and like you're living in this moment and doing the best that you can is because you have each other. Your yes. friendship is so front and center and so I, so much a part of why people connect to you and latch onto everything that you're doing because it is that, it's like that sisterhood that you're going through mom with, momdom with. Mm -hmm. um, and you two are always up to something. I, like literally, I can't keep track of you. You're always you know all over the place. Um, I want everyone to see this video and then we'll chat about it. Is your reminder that the sizes are not about you? How can I? How can this be a ten? This would fit. Okay. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna. <laughs> do, 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 see you know if this even Lie thing, down. Lie down. Hold on. See if this thing goes up. I know what I'm gonna do. Lie down on the bed sideways. Oh. Lie down and put your arm out. Like this? Yeah. No, like down. Like all the way down. Oh. Yes. This is exactly the way we need to do it. Yes. How do you know? Because I can tell that if I can get you. To <laughs> just can you do this clip up? Because then we will know if that if that even that. Oh God. Just, no. What is there is? There's a clip at the top. There's a clip at the top. I, I'm in agony <laughs> looking at this video because I can feel my rib uh -huh. skin uh -huh. getting pinched in the I zipper. I got the dress up. You did. did. I got, got the dress wow. up. All right. Damn, that's a real friend. Yeah, that's that, a real friend. But was... mounting. Why is there so much mounting <laughs> in your videos? She, because, <laughs> Right. She said, this is what I need to do. I need to get you exactly at this angle. I need this tension. Yeah. And she got up. It was exactly like when you're trying to like close a suitcase and it's way too full. Yes. That was the dress. I knew. It. I had to press it. I had to, I'm like, put your arm up. Let's elongate you. Yes. Let's put the gravity cute. down yes. and stuff oh you in. And now the dress is oh like still too tight, but I'm not returning it. You know no. what I mean? Yeah, totally. If it zips up, there's going to be a time and place. But you can't sit in it. No. 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 Don't sit down or else you're going to bust right back out of the thing. <laughs> yes. But you know, I think you're, you, you know, you didn't bust out of the dress. You, I'm sure, wore it beautifully and it zipped up and just held you just right. But but I do think of it as like a metaphor for motherhood that we're all just trying to fit into this mom mold and you're busting out of those. You're just, you know, I really do feel like you, you, uh, 
allow mothers to feel like the thoughts that they have or the feelings that they have at points throughout busy chaotic periods or really fun happy periods are universal but mm -hmm. like everyone is going through this ride together and mm -hmm. if you guys think when you come into the like into your morning something has happened the night before like guaranteed if you're a mom mm -hmm. there's no perfection of walking out the door in the morning like this was a great morning or <laughs> that <laughs> night that was seamless. flawless and i think that when you share you feel normal and yeah. we, if you share, someone's like, oh, me too, yeah. I've been there. And, and that's how our friendship started, was just sharing things that we thought were so taboo to say, and then you realize, she's like, me too, you're like, me too, that we're not alone. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now speaking Powerful. of sharing, we need some help here because our kids are relatively young. You have teenagers. Yeah. yeah. So what should we be in store for? What are we looking forward to or not looking forward to? Tell me so I can... But can I get more wine? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got these more wine. Yeah, yeah, what is in store for us with teenagers? I'm scared. I just, there's a train that, that like gets into a station and it leaves and you better be on it because they'll come home teaching you things very quickly. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the, the birds and the bees in life, you kind of need to be on top... It's a bad metaphor. On top of it, um, <laughs> like you need to be prepared, prepared, and yeah. talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Mount that problem. You know, you know, get off head on. It. I think that it, it happens younger and earlier. And okay, do we even call it birds and the bees? No, I feel like that's our cake. Should no, we like call it like true. hickeys and herpes? Like no. we gotta break this down. Yes. Like we gotta yes. call it something oh else God. that they're yes. familiar with. Because birds and bees, they're not gonna. I hope it. they're not familiar with hickeys what? and herpes. They need to be. <laughs> I'm so sorry I brought herpes in. <laughs> but I feel like you have to call it and give the names that they're familiar with now because oh, if you, if you talk like how we were talked to as kids, they're not going to get it. Oh, no. They're in a totally different world. Oh, they also world. see through it. Oh, right? True. And oh, then yes. wait until you tell them how babies are made and then they look at you and they go, so you did that. He did that to you. And you're like, oh, ooh. And then she goes, we did it to each other. <laughs> <laughs> So it was a powerful woman moment. Yeah, it was right? Like, like, we did that to We did this together. You are an act. We yeah. are active Good. participants and in clear, your creation. Yes, clearly we did it together, too. We sat them all down. It was a group event. And oh, my gosh. We always, every, and if one, one yeah. of the seven asks something, and they're, like, really interested, we're like, we call them all over, and we're like, come let's on, go. let's go. Let's Ask go. us anything let's you want. This. I'm the assistant there. I She's land really the good plane. At, like, you, you just oh. send your, I will land that plane so quickly. They're like, wow. They don't ask anything else. Yeah. We get right to it. So you got to startle them. It's like singing up on <laughs> I, just, I don't tiptoe around, you know? No. I'm like, this is what happened. We go through this, this, this. Yeah. But the good, the good and news is that, like, when they get older, you have some really fun conversations. And, like, we go out with our girls, because the girls are, like, 12, 13. They're our eldest. And we can have, like, a different kind of fun with them, yeah. you know? Then their personalities have developed, and they're their own people. And it's 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 actually really fun to watch. And, Absolutely. And I hope, my hope is seeing that relationship with you guys, with, you know, my my brother and sister-in-law and their mm -hmm. children that are so transparent with their, with their kids about that. My hope is if we can do that, you also realize that then they will come to you yes. and yeah. speak openly to you exactly. because they aren't afraid that you will sweep it under the rug. If they don't feel like they can come to you, they're going to go to someone else 100%. and you don't necessarily know yeah. what that information <laughs> anyway, is going to be. And you build it young. And remember, if they can't have hard conversations okay. with you, it's only going to get harder. Like the, the, the little, the, that little hard conversation when something happens with, you know, a partner they might be with when they're a teenager, they're not coming to, to you if they can't actually talk to you. Totally. So, mm -hmm. All right. Totally. But you when they're too young and you don't feel like doing it, then you can always just turn the question back on them and be like, what do you yes. think happens? Totally. That's and then good you too. get answers like, well, there was a lemon and there was a bird and then like you know and then you know you don't you're not there they're yet not ready. You're, like, you're okay for not a few there more yet yeah. all right well i tell you where we are i, I we are i need some more wine that's Ooh. where we are and coming up you know those thoughts you have as a mom but you're too afraid to say it out loud they're not <laughs> cat and nat will tell you all of their secrets they're sharing in their mom's confessions up next yo say it like you mean it Ooh. i like it i mean Back with Kat and Nat. Now, there's no such thing as a perfect mother. And sure, we have that odd day where it's spending quality time with your kids and everything goes as planned. It's perfect, right? But let's be honest, there are many days when <laughs> we are hanging on by a thread. So you know we're not alone. And today we are re revealing Real Mom Confessions from Kat and Nat's new book, Mom Secrets. All right, so here's the first one. Got a doozy for you. Okay, so I'm in the grocery store. 
And my kid was just going crazy, screaming, crying, and nothing seemed to be able to calm her down. And I was getting looks from other shoppers. So I said loud enough so that everyone could hear, if you don't stop, I'm gonna tell your mother, <laughs> as if I was her aunt or a babysitter. Oh, that's genius. That is straight up genius Honestly, right there. act like you don't even know. No, mom hack. Yes. When we heard that, I was just like, I'm going to use that. I wish I had that in the early years. Like what a funny thing to just come up with in the grocery store, yeah. amazing. Oh, but what is it about like that public tantrum when you see that kid falling out? Like it just brings out the worst in moms. I think we panic and it's like, what do we do? Like, well, we, we also say, think that it's reflected on us. Yes, mm -hmm. totally. And people are but judging us, well, yes. Let's stop and think for a second. If that is a dad with his kids, we're all like, what a saint. Take what a he good took to the grocery store. Man. Wow, you are, you are a god. Uh, yeah. And you're, we're all like, mm, you know, running away from them and everyone's trying to help them out. So we always try to encourage women to like, just be like, I have been there with yeah. you. Or like, give them a smile rather than a oh. judging look. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, it's funny though, I do, I mean, look, I think it's also that illusion of control that like if you're a good mom, yeah. you're, your kids aren't robots, no. you know, there, there is, it is purely illusion. And, and no one is that all the time. Right? No, no, your good kids have tantrums. Yeah, yeah. everybody you know, like, has their days, yes. everybody. Okay, let's have another confession. Um, okay, this, this, I actually love this one, okay. <laughs> My biggest guilty pleasure is booking an extra day on the end of a business trip where I'm not working, just staying in my hotel room, ordering room service, watching bad cable TV, and just being alone for once. But every time I do this, I feel so guilty, like I'm a horrible mom for not wanting to rush back to my kids. Mm -mm. No. What do you guys think of that? We haven't done that yet. It's almost time to do that. We I mean, we do that. actually <laughs> add days on. Sometimes. Well, we just in like between. book something that, that takes like half an hour. Yeah. Like we'll podcast with someone and then we'll be like to the husbands, I mean, we gotta stay for the day. Stay. And there could be another person that wants to podcast with us. We gotta make time while we're out there. Yeah, I, I actually have a new theory that I think that if we- Do I know it? Yes, you do. Okay. That moms are often the emotional ma managers of your children. So think of this, when you step away, they have to learn how to deal with their emotions and that only helps them emotionally grow. So when they're older, you know, eventually you have to learn how to deal with these things. And when we're always doing it for them, they never learn and grow. So when you're away, they're actually emotionally growing. They're and building learning, resilience. And you're doing them a service because they learn different coping Skills Which than means when if you're you not take there. Time away, you're actually a better mom. It's, yes. it's, it's actually that's how we should refer it. it. Love it. Yeah. Otherwise, you're always this to them, so you let them grow a little bit. Well, I yes. think it's also you know working working parents know this intimately. You you do have that constant tug of war of like when I'm at work, I feel like I'm missing family time. When I'm at my when I'm with my family, I feel like I'm missing opportunities that I should be pursuing, or I'm falling down on the job. It is really hard to pour from an empty cup. That was one of the phrases that I heard repeated early on in my motherhood and I was sort of like, I it couldn't register. Yeah. I feel that now where like, if you're gonna take a couple hours at 15 minutes, a day away, like whatever mm -hmm. it is so that you don't go back feeling totally spent, mm -hmm. Not only are they getting them opportunity to fend for themselves or to feel self-reliant, which I do think is great training ground for down the ro road in life, but they're also going to get a you that is happy and refreshed and like totally. present for them. You know, yeah. totally, mm -hmm. no. absolutely. You, I haven't done it yet, but I'm totally on board. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I love this confessional okay. because mom or not, it hits in all kinds of ways. Okay. Every day we put on leggings because we intend to work out, <laughs> and every day we don't work out. And then the next morning we wake up and we lie to ourselves that we're gonna work out. We put those leggings on again. Yes. <laughs> so what is it about the leggings workout outfit? Is it just a guise to look like you have yourself together? I just, or I can't believe you work out and change. Like you do both. I would work out, even if I worked out, I don't change. I've got to work on that. When and I you started know. hanging, <laughs> yes you do. When I started hanging out with Kat, she always just wore leggings every day. Cause she's like, you know, I might want to walk or whatever. Or she worked out and she's wearing the same clothes. And I started doing the same thing. And my mom was like, Natalie, you know, workout clothes are for working out. And then you go put your jeans on. And I saw like, for the nah. beginning, I was like, okay, I'll take my mom's advice. She's always like, put lips to come for you. Leave the house. But after a while, I was like, we'll just wear the uniform <laughs> of workouts and maybe we might work out. And There's a we chance. Don't, we'll try again tomorrow. 10% chance. Is, yes. Very slim. Especially there is me. a chance <laughs> that it's going to happen. But, but if the other mom strikes, you worked out, they're ready. <laughs> they'll see you and they're like, oh, wow, you're in your work. You work out all the time. Oh, you're so motivating other people. And, and then yes. you say, yes, I do. And you're like, yes, I, have, yes, I, I have been losing weight. <laughs> I haven't done a thing. But they think it is perception. You wear the clothes, you are doing It's your job. intimidation workout. Oh, yes. <laughs> so and it's how I shame all the other moms I put oh, on my workout list. I say it's <laughs> motivate the other moms, yeah. not shame. <laughs> no. Getting everyone else to just. You know when you see the mom wearing a tennis uniform. skirt and you're like, oh my gosh, she want to play tennis. We should start wearing tennis skirts because then they'll think we're good at something and working out. And you look so cute. Go. Exactly. Yeah, there you go.
<laughs> All right, up next, Kat and Nat's super mom survival kit. Find out why tweezers in your car are the best move. <laughs> you sound good. That's a wealth of knowledge here. I love it. The Mom Truth Friday. Here's the thing. There's like this notion that everyone thinks that everyone else knows what the f is going on. So you see a mom and you're like, that mom has her f together. I just peed my pants and had to change them. Exactly. Also, dinner's not made. People who have like a plan for the week, who the f are you? <laughs> Getting at our back, reminding us that we do not have to have it all together in order to be good moms. And they put together a super mom survival kit with the only items you need to stay sane. We're going to go room by room through the house, and we're going to start, of course, in the kitchen. What is your absolute essential must-have item to stay sane in the kitchen? Wine. <laughs> yes. Wine. Yes. Just, yeah. a, just a little bit of wine, too. And why is it essential? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because, I mean, when I go into the kitchen, I do love to cook, like you ladies. And I need the wine to just relax, be by myself, make sure nobody else is touching my beverage. Because I don't know if you guys pour a glass of water. They always want your drink. Of course. This is mine. This is my moment. Dinner will be ready soon, but I'm gonna have to have wine. And if the wine fridge is empty, daddy's gotta go to the store and fill it up. She's got a really big one though. Ooh, Ooh like keep it stocked. I stock it for her. Oh, God, you are a great I know. I, I know. You know what? I interviewed her for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I got really lucky. <laughs> um, is there anything else off limits? They can't touch your wine. Anything else in the kitchen that nobody's allowed to do? You can't cook. You can't go in the kitchen when she's cooking. Yeah, I don't. Oh, really, I don't like. Oh, oh yeah. she hates that. Yeah. Like, you like to silence and serenade. Yeah. Or like, are you? You have like jams on. Like, what are you? Oh, doing? the jams are on. Okay. I'm doing the dancing in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. having my wine. The yeah. other thing is, if if I make like a charcuterie board for like like us, yes, and they oh, just us, <laughs> just <laughs> of us. Oh my it's god, for two. <laughs> it's for two. I got big boards for two. <laughs> and then they get their little fingers in there, and like, cause our kids love everything, so they'll be eating the olives. I'm like, oh, those were the good. I don't want you to eat. Yeah. That's for us. us. For you. And there's like taking the salamis and the prosciutto. I'm like. Uh, Eat your goldfish. And if this you, is for us. And if you come to my house, you have to bring dinner. Why? Not because I'm. She doesn't. I'll yeah. order it in. I'm not cooking you dinner. But you can. She, she cooks in my house. She has a fabulous stove, and she just got all the most amazing pots and pans. For you. She has no idea what to do with them. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> excited to come. Yeah. Yes. yes. We yeah. Take yeah, yeah. You guys come over. <laughs> We're all coming. OK, so all right, we got the kitchen covered. Next okay. is the bathroom. Mm. So what do you need to survive in the bathroom? I, I do feel like this is a, a controversy bringing your phone into the bathroom, because that's where we take a break. Does How long I, do you have? Oh. <laughs> I like, I mean, I lock the door. Some people think it's gross. I, I know, some people don't do this. And I'm like, I do this. I, but does anyone else? You have time to like check your phone. I, they're it's, always either they're gonna take your phone to get on it themselves, yeah. or you, you feel bad like, oh, I'm not a present mom. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm we with you. bring our phone into yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, that. like okay. I know. Yeah, just wipe, wipe it down, wash your hands, be clean <laughs> about oh, it. Oh, you see, you probably do. Like you lice, like lice I, laughter. I do clean. Not, not. I, no, no. no. I, I, yes, but no, <laughs> not every second. And no, yes, keep it we, clean. It's all good. I don't know if we do that. I think we just. No, and the thing is, is that nobody can tell you how long it's supposed to take, so you can take mm -hmm. extra time. Go by the man's rules, and it's usually forty-five minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's how long it takes. Live like a man. <laughs> I like that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You get forty-five minutes, so do I. Sure. <laughs> yep. Plus. All right. Finally, we're freed from the house. Let's go to the car. What is the one thing you need to keep in your car that nobody really knows. Sitting in your car before you walk in the house is a form of self-care. You sit agree. there and you just sit there and you okay, do this. I can do this. So you, you'll like you'll look at yourself. You'll pull out the mirror. And the and the and the the natural light is really good to see all the things that are you going will find on. Hair you didn't even know you had there. I you have one right hair. now. I know you do have a nose hair. Yeah, she has a nose hair. I should pull it for you. And I let her know. Should I do it? No. no. Oh, I, I, oh, I, mean, I know it's there. Bad it's, pretty bad. It's, it's really it's bad. bad. I know. So I, I actually keep. One it's in my car. It's black and it comes, it comes out, out and it curls around. I was around. gonna tell you earlier, but I forgot I to. Oh I could god. get this. Okay, hold oh, on. You're gonna cry. Oh my god. No, you know what? It snuck back. Oh, it's back out again. I'll get that for you. Oh, okay, go. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and she does this for me. <laughs> some people have chin hair, some ladies. people have nose hair. By the way, I radically agree that they're <laughs> like the bright sunlight is the only time when oh. you're like, I just plucked my eyebrows. Where did these all come mm, from yeah. again? Yeah. Totally agree. And but makeup that blending? Was, 
That was like a deep bond right there. She just dug into the cavern, pulled out the well, curly. You guys are both very lucky that you don't have black nose hairs. So yeah. you're welcome. Yeah. I just went in the car with my tweezers. <laughs> I just got them all. All right, and your mom oh got another special treat in there. Uh, Always yeah. chocolate. I, oh. I fully support that. I have snacks all the time. It's my thing. Chocolate's my thing. It's her thing. Baby. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that also, a nice bar dark chocolate, the kids don't want that. No. They want the candy, and they always think you're going to have their snack. And usually I do have their snack in my purse. But I want my snack in yes. yeah. the dark chocolate. The worst is when you have a kid who's like, this is good. You're no. like, isn't it bitter? And they're like, I love it. And you're like, I'm ruined. <laughs> yeah. What do I have for me? I'm, I'm so thing. impressed. I love that your kids are after the, the prosciutto and the <laughs> dark oil cured olives and the dark chocolate. So good. I'm not impressed. Oh, guys, I love having you here. Thank you so much. It's always a blast to have you guys help us, teach us, support us, hold our hands, um, and to help sur us all survive parenthood. So make sure to check out their new book, Mom Secrets. Coming up, Food God is back, and we are judging the most outrageous burrito you have ever seen. Ooh. Very good. Clear, guys. Cheers. Welcome back to The Good Dish. When it comes to Instagram-worthy food, nothing is bigger than oversized and overstuffed mashups, and no one is a better food trend judge than Food God. Take a look at his recent trip to Vietnamese restaurant Chris and John's in Dallas. I'm freezing, so I had to get the biggest burrito I could find. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. This burrito is over 10 pounds. Oh my God, this thing. Oh, it's got so much amazing stuff. Look at this. It's got basil, cilantro, a ramen, chicken. I mean, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please welcome Good Dish contributor, the Honorable Judge Food God. Oh, oh my gosh. He's got some oh. lovely. Oh my Food God. <laughs> look at this. Hi, these things. Hello. Guys. Good to see you. Hi, come on in. You make an entrance, my friend. I yes, have you to. Do. I wow. Have what have to. you done? What this, have you can done? Can I just? Oh, these nice. are the most enormous tacos I've ever seen. I know. Do you want the four pounders? These are the four pound oh, tacos. Yeah. They're giant tacos from Tito's Burritos in New Jersey. It's inspired by fat sandwiches stuffed with fries that you find in parts of Jersey that. Very late night. Justice is blind, and you can tell from Food God's wardrobe that he's judging things impartially these days, too. How do you rule on this mega mashup? What mega mashup? This mega mashup. Yeah. I mean, how good is this? This looks fabulous, actually. How, this, this is not only late night, this will take you into breakfast. <laughs> I mean, this thing goes all day. You could stuff it really, really good so you get those juicy, amazing, big bites, and that's what we love. Are we going to taste these? Yeah. Are these edible? Do we have, we eat, we're eating this. Um, you, you want us to eat it? Yes, I, I do. I'm really yes, I do. Okay. Come on, guys. Okay, you think this is bring food in. for show? Right. Are you serious? Oh, no. Yeah, you want to. This is eight four. Let's go in. Sure. Let's do that. <laughs> in the tram salad. Right? Oh, you're wow. sharing it? Oh, my God. If this breaks. I, you got, oh, that's cute. Are we, that's, no. are we gonna do that? We can. Okay. okay. Oh, we're right, we can. There we can. <laughs> well, somehow we don't do it. I did. Everything falls apart. It's not that bad. I was actually over there. Mm. Mm. Okay, we are all crazy, but it's not that bad. It's actually really, really good. I'm angry at myself because I like it so much. Yes. Oh my god. I thought they were shredded lettuce. It's all cheese. Oh, it's all <laughs> even better. Okay. Mm. Gail and I, we will share this later on. So it's bigger, better. Bigger is better. I mean, this well, case, that was very delicious. All right, well, if we're loving those, let's hope we are fascinated by these because we have another burrito. Fusion right here with um, burritos from Punjabi by Nature Burrito <laughs> from Curry Up Now in San Francisco. So it's got sag paneer, tikka masala chicken with rice, garbanzo mm. masala, and sliced red onions wrapped in a tortilla. At least it's human size. I can I, take I a bite of I smell the curry this. from here. <laughs> I actually smell it all the love way from that. San Francisco. I love, all right. I love this. So we want to give the verdict from, oh, this is, oh. from the, the other God yeah, himself. I mean, we're not gonna, no. We don't have to share this. We could just, we could just <laughs> cheers. 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 Just cheers. Tell us what you think. Mmm. Mm. That's actually quite delightful. Mm. I would say it melts in your mouth. It does a little bit. Right? I love yeah. the spice. And there's you did some, a really good job. Yeah, really good heat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Okay. You did a good job. Nice it's delicate. It's a delicate burrito, which is so hard to do. It is. It's good. All right. Okay. I like that one. Winner, okay. winner. Two for two. Oh. Two for two. Not bad. Here's a third. 
Oh boy. Oof, I'm burning. This like gets <laughs> very close to home for me. Taco Knishes <laughs> from Bub's Knishes in Baltimore. Taco Knishes. That's sauce. original. It's An a originality. classic potato knish, That's but it's also stuffed with a taco filling food guide. What is your ruling on this mashup? Well, I haven't even oh, tried oh it yet, gosh. but just on creativity and originality, yeah, it's a you, 10. You feel I've it? I've never heard of this I, before. You know that's a good sign. When Food God hasn't heard of it in all his right. travels, this is mm -hmm. a big... Potato Ooh. I'm, Oh, my I, God, I guys. Wild. My, <laughs> my Bubby's going to be mad at me for cutting that with a knife and fork, but I just yeah, found it. I was it like, I thought everyone was going in face first mm. with hands. Okay. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That's got an oh, my God. Mm-hmm. What a perfect combination. I think I know your winner then. What's going on here? Okay, we could eat for the next seven days with all of this. <laughs> on originality and flavor, this is the winner. Knish Taco, yeah. you heard it here. All right, up next, you'll never guess what sweet fast food treat. These noodles, I gotta reach past you for one second. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, getting fresh. What is that? These noodles, they're gonna transform these into a sweet treat. We're revealing the answer and showing you how to make them at home in just seconds. Don't go away. Wow. Crazy, right? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Welcome back to The Good Dish. Food God is with us judging the latest food trends. And now we've got some snacking to talk about. Taco Bell's cinnamon twists, you know them? They are one of the most popular items on their menu, but did you know they're actually made from pasta? Watch this. Look at these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Ooh. Go ahead and get your oil heated up to about 350 degrees. Y'all, once you got that oil heated up, we're gonna go ahead and drop in these wheat zero noodles, okay? Baby, that magic's happening. There it go. Keep dunking them in. We don't want no more orange color on there. Put cinnamon sugar and start dumping it in your deep freezer bag and start mixing it up. Come on out, y'all. These things are just some kind of good, baby. They are. They are some kind of good. Uh, now, I should preface that this will not work with every pasta. It's a special product from Mexico called Duros, which is made of wheat flour and cornstarch, as well as sodium bicarbonate. And it is a popular street food in Mexico. So I'm gonna show you how to make them. And it's sort of magical. It's so much fun. So I have my oil heated here to 350 degrees. And I'm just gonna take, let's say a handful. You don't want too many at a time because they will expand. I mean, they, they really blow up. I'm gonna oh. drop a few in very carefully. Let's see, and it takes a minute, so don't get discouraged if right when you put them in, oh my gosh. they do not pop. I'll put these here. They're starting. If you can get real close up into this bowl of oh, wow. bubbling it's, it's oil. It's happening. It is happening. happening. Guys, magic trick. look at it, look at it. What? Whoa. Whoa. Stand that back. Popping. I mean, fast. how fun is that? Well, dunk them down. He said you don't want anything not orange. Okay. <laughs> Okay, right. put so them in it that just oil, takes babe. a second, that's, what that's it right. Oh my God. <laughs> we make sure that they get all that We have impressed food guys. Wow, wow. so Whoa. It was like a second. It was a second. I was worried it wasn't working. Me too, I, I was know. like, guys, uh -oh. don't you uh -oh. trust me? I did until that first, the Okay, watch out, panic. thank you very okay. much. You want to pour them out right after that happens onto a paper lined Whoa. plate to let them drain for a minute and cool because that is smoking hot oil. And once they have cooled just for a second but are still warm, we're gonna douse them in some beautiful toppings to get that sugary sweetness and that beautiful powder all over really... it. So we have here two different ways to eat them. Okay. We're gonna open that bag, Tamika. Gotcha. Hold this, gotcha. you guys. We're putting okay, you to work. Okay. I've ready. got some sugar in one. Watch some sugar. About a half oh a my cup. god. I mean, we're making. Oh one. my god. We're not drinking it. Oh my god. I love like when food gods appalled. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I was like, well, because I thought I was gonna do it like that. No. Just gonna like this. You're gonna see. It's like a shake and bake moment. So I have cinnamon and sugar in oh. here. I'm right. just gonna spin it around, and in yours, yes. you've got paprika, cayenne, and chili powder with your sugar. And my sugar, yes. These are still warm, they're like, oh, wow. All right, are you ready for me, Jamika? Go for it, mama. Just toss them up, close, close the bag. That oh, yeah, help. I forgot about that. Yep. A sugar high, sorry. And then you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna exactly shake it up, shake it up. All right. And let's give them a try. I kind of want to try, I've never tried oh, to Oh, I'm gonna oh, try. Oh my God, there's a lot of, Ooh. whoa. Yeah. 
Look at that, it looks like a real churro. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. So fun and crunchy. The fastest okay. snack in the entire world. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like this, really. I need the so chili. So crunchy, oh my goodness. Oh my. Mm. I love that we have impressed you. Yeah, I'm impressed. You all over the world and you are blown away, so we did a good I'm thing impressed, today. fast, delicious, sweet, and just so fun. Mm -hmm. Great video, mm -hmm. great content with these guys. Good stuff, wow. thank you for coming. Thank we you always for having me for this. You always here. Yes, but somehow my dress always gets tighter when you leave, I don't know <laughs> what it is. All right, so now be sure to check out his food delivery service, Food God Fresh Foods, and you can learn more at foodgodfresh.com. We will be right back. <laughs> He's out of my hands. Yes, all right. Welcome right. back to The Good Dish. We are, yes, push the plate away. Okay, because from juicy restaurant style steak to ooh, hilariously relatable mom secrets and incredible cinnamon twists, we've had some good laughs and even better bites today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good, good day. But we want to leave you with one more stick, steak tip just in time for dinner tonight. So to keep that steak of yours juicy, you gotta let it rest for at least 10 minutes once you take it out of the hot pan, off the grill, what have you. And then you will slice it against the grain to serve, okay? Because this will avoid letting all of those delicious juices seep out. You don't wanna lose all that. Keep it in there, just let it rest. Take a breath, that's all take you gotta rest. do. I agree. Take a rest. Everyone's much happier after a quick rest. All right, it is time for the good list. If you see that QR code on your screen, go ahead and open your camera app and hold your phone up to it. It will take you right to the recipes and more from today's show. You can also head to GoodDishTV.com to get it all on the good list today. The answer to the question, what's for dinner? We're making marinated flank steak with grilled potato salad. Everything you need to recreate what you saw on today's show is always on the good list. And don't forget about these. Don't sleep Enormous on them. tacos with somehow the most delicious french fries in them. I'm gonna keep eating. We'll see you next time for more good food and good dish. Had a good friend to share it with. Yeah. That was so cute. I you were like a real, it was a real little like